guys and welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm gonna teach you how to make some sick looking twitch panels for free so we're gonna be using a free program called adobe express i'm also an adobe express ambassador but this video is not sponsored by them i've just been using them for a while and i really like them a lot the one benefit that i really get out of adobe express over something like canva is adobe express allows you to download your images without a background for free Whereas in Canva, you have to pay for it. So this allows more creative flexibility when you are making your panels or honestly, any Twitch overlay for that matter. I really like my transparent backgrounds a lot. So let's get into it. So first and foremost, we're going to go to adobe.com slash express or Adobe Express and just hit the start for free button. Now, once this loads, it will take us to a lot of templates right here. We're going to hit custom size in the top right, and then I'm going to make the width 640 and I'm going to make the height about 350 because I want to go and I want to add some cute designs above and below the Twitch panel. So I like to zoom out a little bit just so I can see the entire canvas and what I'm working with. So first things first, we're going to go to shapes and grab ourselves a rectangle. If you look for a rectangle, it should be good enough. I also personally really like working with rounded rectangles, so that's what we'll be working with today. And now we have our little rectangle. If you click it, you can just stretch it to whichever size you would like. And this looks good enough. I think I'm gonna go add a border as well. Maybe something like this. Now, I know the colors look really bad, but one great thing when it comes to making graphics, stuff like that, we can go and generate ourselves a color palette so that it looks nicer. So my favorite site for this is called coolers.co. If we hit explore trending palettes, it will take us to a whole bunch of color palettes that we can then explore for creating our artwork. Again, with making any sort of artwork, it really helps to stick with a limited color palette. I really don't like exceeding four colors just so that everything looks very cohesive. I think this is very pretty. So I'm gonna go and work with this one. We're gonna select this dark color right here. If you wanna select a color, you just hover over it till you see the hex code and click it. And then over here, let me click the center. We're gonna click fill and then we can now paste the hex code in here to get the custom color from our color palette. I will then do the same for the border color. Let's click that and then under border, let us swap it to the color we selected. This already looks so nice. So now we're gonna go and add our text. They already have a lot of pre-made templates that you can go and pick from. I'm not gonna go with any of these because I already have something in mind. So I'm gonna click add your text and then over here we can go and edit the text. So let me call this about me. Now, obviously we need to go and change the colors. So I think I'm gonna work with a white here. And there's font recommendations on the bottom. So if I move myself up here, you can see there's font recommendations down below. I like this one. So maybe, maybe we can do something like this. Let me try to center it. Let's see if there's any other ones that I'm feeling. I also really like this rounded one a lot. I like, I like this one. So we can also go and adjust the outline if we would like to add an outline on the text. Shape, which is really interesting. Okay, we gotta adjust this for a sec. But we can add things like a border around our text, for instance. We have to adjust the colors a little bit, but something like that. Even a rounded background against the text. I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm not messing with any of these text options but I really want to go and work with these design assets. So let's go over here. Ooh, the effect groups are really cool. I think I'm gonna go look for some clouds. Let's see if there's any cloud images we can work with here. These are all really cute. Ooh, these are really cute. I think I'm gonna put one, two of these right on the bottom here. Also, you can use your arrow keys to adjust the positioning and the height of things. So let me go and add the other cloud that I found. So I like these two clouds a lot. I'm gonna go back to our color palette here and select the lighter color. And then I'm gonna go and change the clouds to that color. So I'll need to go over here for it. But basically I just turned on the filters duotone and then I can just kind of adjust the colors. It's a little bit tricky to go and adjust the colors. I don't know why you have to do it this way, but if you go under filters, turn it on. If you just paste the color that you selected into both boxes, both the highlight and the shadow, then it changes it. And I'm also going to lower the opacity just a little bit for the clouds. So it's a little bit more, it gives a little bit of a layered effect. 
And under the layers over here, we want our text to be on top. So we want to make sure the text is on top no matter what. If I make one of these clouds a little bit bigger, then lower the opacity a little bit more just so it's not, you know, taking up too much space. So this looks really cute so far. But what I really want to do is add elements protruding above and below the panels. That's something that you can't do in Canva or it's a little bit more complicated to get it to work. We can go back under design assets and find more clouds. I like these little white ones, so I'm gonna go stick with these. Click it, and then here, let me make it a little bit smaller, and then I can have one cloud above like this. And then if I grab this other cloud here, I can go and make it a little bit smaller and put one in this bottom corner here. I also think it'll be cute if there's a cloud kind of behind the panel instead of sticking out in front. So let me grab a third cloud in the layers here. I have to keep moving myself around just so things will show up. But in the layering system here, I'm gonna drag it behind the rectangles. Now we have one cloud sticking out like this. So again, I wanna adjust the colors of the clouds so they match our color palette. So I think I'm gonna go with this color here, this rose color. And we're gonna go and do the same thing with the filters. So again, if you wanna change the colors, I don't know why you have to do it this way. You go under dual tone and then in the custom for the shadows, we're gonna paste the code we just copied. Under highlights, we're gonna paste the code as well. I swear there should be a better way to do this. I haven't figured it out yet, but we're gonna go and manually do it. All right, and there we go. We have our little clouds now. Let me make this one a little bit you know, more hidden. Now, I think it would be really cute if we added a moon as well. So let me see if there's a moon that we can use. I think this one's really cute and it also fits our theme really well. The color, is on it. The color honestly fits the theme really well. So let me just rotate it over like so. And again, we're gonna kind of adjust the colors a little bit. I want it to be more of a pinkish tone. So what I'm gonna do is copy this color and then in the duo tone here, paste this in, but then I'm gonna make the highlights white. So this ends up becoming a light peach color. This looks really good. I think I just wanna add a some stars and then I think we're getting in the right spot here. So design assets. Oh. Oh, that should be under shapes actually. If you go under shapes, ooh, there's a lot of stars we can go work with. I like the rounded star a lot. So we have this rounded star. So I want this to be the same color as this thing here. I can make it the pink and then I'll just lighten the pink. That's close enough. Actually, I don't like this rounded star. I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna use this one instead and we're gonna make it a light pink color. So I'm just gonna copy and paste some of these stars around. Also, I'm going to change the rotation a little bit so it doesn't look like I copy and pasted it. Now, this looks really cute. So I also really like dotted lines. So let me see if there's any. Oh, shoot. I cannot spell. Let's see if there's any dotted lines we can work with. I kind of want to create like a, a little arch or something. Ooh, this one's cute. It's a little bit thick for what I'm going for, though. Ooh, this is cute. I like how there's one. I could do one above and below. All right. I think I like this one. So this is what I'm going to work with here. So I want it to kind of dangle a little bit. I'm gonna make this color, do we make it the peach color here? Maybe I'll use this middle purple that I haven't used. Ooh, this looks really nice. So now we have this little dangly background thing. I'm gonna copy it and paste it again. So I'm gonna have it drop twice like this. And I'm gonna go and drag both of these elements behind the rectangle. Scooch it back here. I want it also behind the cloud as well. So now we have two little dangly lines down below. And then I think I want to add some stars on the little dotted lines as well. I'm just gonna copy and paste the same star that I've been using. And let me rotate this one a little bit. Nice, I think this looks really good. I think this looks really good. I really like the way this panel turned out. So once we are done with our artwork, and let me zoom out a little bit just so my face isn't blocking it, this is what we have. So we just hit download, and I'm gonna download it as a PNG. And then when it gives you this option, we want to download it as a transparent PNG, so there's no white background. And this is how it looks like. Let's go add it real fast to my Twitch just so we can get a visual. And it's all the way at the bottom, but man, it looks so good. Ah, oh, I'm so happy with how it turned out. I think it looks great. So this is how you can go and get, make this panel for yourself as well if you would like to. And this is all completely free using Adobe Express. And your girl might sell it on Etsy because this stuff is free for commercial use. So keep that in mind if you're trying to open up your Etsy shop. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. If you did make it here, I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it helpful. It means a lot that you watched to the end and supported me because that means so much to me.
And big shout out to my Patreons, Elysian, Miss Sayan. I can never pronounce your name right, I'm so sorry. Evil Core and Ukulele. Thank you so much for always supporting me. It means so much. And we're almost at a hundred, no. I wish I was at 100k. We're almost at 10k on YouTube. So if you sub to my YouTube, I will pick one person to go win $100, one sub, once we get there. So that's actually super exciting. I've been grinding at YouTube for so long. So I, I feel rewarded now once we got here. Anyways, enough rambling. I hope to catch you guys in another video. Peace.